pivot into Tommy now, um, going up against KSI. It's his second um, consecutive fight against a YouTuber. I just wondered, do you feel like this is Tommy's world now, or do you feel like after this fight he'll go back to a more traditional professional career after that, or do you think he's going to take on more of sort of the YouTube talent? Let me tell you, we're going where the eyes are, where the bottoms on seats are. You know, and this is a business, and we're going where the good business is. And this business is better than conventional boxing, a lot better. You know, and it's more fun. You bring in a, a different clientele to the game, different people, you know, and people's getting bored with the same old thing. The blue corner never wins, does it? The blue corner doesn't win. But in crossover fights, misfits fights, bizarre stuff can happen. Bizarre stuff, and that's why people want to watch it. I think it's a good bit of fun. Breath of fresh air. I never thought I'd hear myself saying it, but conventional boxing at the minute. It needs to pick its socks up, don't it? You know, it needs to pick its socks up. It's failing badly. And there's that much competition. You've got MMA, you've got the crossover boxing, and even the big GKs crossed over, hasn't he? So that shows you where it's at. You know, listen, that people will always want to see big fights, great fights, but I feel sorry for the people just setting off in their boxing careers. They may as well not bother. The money they get paid, they're better off working in Astas. You know, you're safer. <laughs> And the money's more. <laughs> it is. And I, I wanted to ask what you make of KSI as a fighter. Obviously, not, not a traditional pro in, in that sense, but he's had a few fights now. What do you make of his skills? How do you rate him as a boxer? Well, he's not a boxer, is he? He's a misfits boxer, and there's a big difference. You know, at the end of the day, you put him in with somebody, a proper pro, you know, he'll probably get beat 10 times out of 10. But we're not, we're, he's not saying he can beat pro boxers, is he? He's trying it on with Tommy, but in his heart of hearts, he knows he hasn't got a prayer for beating Tommy. But people think he has, and that's what's put him there. And anybody who's game enough to get into the ring and have a fight, you've got to take him serious, haven't you? And he's won five, he's won five, no matter who he's fought. There may have been nobody, but he's had the, the nuts to get in there and do his thing, hasn't he? So, yeah. You know, he's game enough to get in there. He's bringing eyes to the screens, bums on seats. Let's run with it. You know, so all I can say to him, good luck to him, you know, for uh, having the you-know-whats to get in the ring with Tommy. Because he knows it's a tall order. He'd be daft not to, wouldn't he? You know, and we're in a position now where we can just, you know, do what we've got to do and let them do what they've got to do. It's all good business. I've got nothing against KSI, got nothing against Jake Paul, got nothing against Logan Paul or any other misfits boxer in the world. You know, it's all good fun and games and they're getting well paid for it. So the business is better. And that's what more we're interested in. It's not KSI we're interested in, it's not anything, you know, it's all, you know, a business side of the matter. But like I say, it's great viewing too, isn't it? And who knows? He could swing a massive elbow and give Tommy 18 stitches in his eye. <laughs> it's over. He could get his elbow, bang, nuts. <laughs> it's crazy. And that's what people want, crazy. 